Imagine yourself talking to someone and they offer you a mint or they back away from you or they kind of turn their head sideways. These are telltale signs you have bad breath. Has this happened to you? Are you self-conscious about your breath? Are you constantly chewing gum or sucking down mints because of this? Fear no more, I will be sharing with you guys my top tips on how to get rid of bad breath and what the culprits are in your mouth that make bad breath smell so bad. So if you want to see what my tips are, keep watching. Chew tips. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jen. I really hope you consider subscribing. We talk a lot about beauty, health, lifestyle on this channel. And today's video is going to be very exciting because you get really personal. I feel like it's okay that I get you this close to my mouth. I mean, nobody really wants to get that close to a mouth, but you guys, you're my family, so it's okay. All right, let's get started and show you guys what the culprits are when it comes to bad breath and how you can get rid of it. All right, this is going to be one straight and do the point video where I just tell you what it is you need to know. First thing up is the Waterpik water flosser. This is one of the best purchases I've made and I use this every single day. One, if you hate flossing, this is the way to go. Two, the pressure that comes out of this flosser is so powerful that it removes up to 99.9% .9 of plaque, which also causes bad breath. Three, it only takes a minute a day and my dentist says my teeth look great. Also, if you ever get tonsil stones, those nasty stinky yellow or white calcium deposits that you cough up, this will help dislodge them if you can't seem to get them out of your tonsils. Next up, brush your teeth after every meal or at least twice a day. My go-to toothpaste is the Jason C Fresh Strengthening Toothpaste. It's rich in blue algae and spearmint. It has no fluoride, SLS, or parabens, so I feel good about using this every night. My go-to toothbrush is the Oral-B Pro 1000 Power Electric Toothbrush. I bought this off Amazon about three years ago and I still use it today. It's my favorite toothbrush and it keeps my teeth, gums, and breath so clean. Okay, I know this contraption looks hella scary. Well, Jeff thought it did, but it's not. It's just a stainless steel tongue scraper and I use this every day. You wouldn't believe all the nasty bacteria that's on your tongue and what a tongue scraper can do to help get rid of all that gunk. If you're going to get a little gaggy here, just maybe skip this part. I just clamp the sides and then gently scrape two to three times over my tongue. This helps get rid of bad breath almost instantly. Next tip, gargle with salt and hot water. This is a well-known remedy to help with sore throats if you're sick, but it's also great to do once a week if you have tonsillitis. The warm water will have a soothing effect and the salt will help reduce inflammation and helps keep the mouth clean. When I was younger, Mama Chu would always give me hot water and salt to ease any colds and sore throats. That's how I know about it, but it's also great to use weekly to keep your oral health in check. Now lastly, probiotics help so much with gut health and oral health. Probiotics can help with halitosis, which is extremely unpleasant breath that you have all the time. And that just sounds kind of bad and sad. And if you do, pop a few probiotics to help with it. Probiotics can also reduce the symptoms of gingivitis, which means swollen, tender gums and sensitive teeth. Oral health is super important and can tell you a lot about how your overall health is doing. So make sure you eat well, drink lots of water, get all the nutrition and vitamins you need alongside taking care of your mouth. All products will be linked in the description box below if you want to know more about them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Bye for now.